opening for I think you meant to say to go. good to have a win. I look like Giants. Washington. I look like the Redskins <laughs> last night starting off right there. Well, let's, start off, let's, let's start off with my Giants. <laughs> <laughs> they won. Well, yeah, the, the Giants much needed win. And, and the thing about the Giants is they started 0-2, but they looked good in getting to 0-2, but it was epically embarrassing at the end. So I think the results skewed the tone of the coverage. They really needed to get that win because if you look at the division, the Cowboys are 2-0, and but they have no Tony Romo, no Des Bryant for like yeah. 8 to 10 weeks. The Eagles have been hapless. The Redskins have been hapless. So the division is kind of theirs for their taking if they can it's continue like the to worst, play well. Is it the worst? division in the entire NFL. I don't know. The, the Colts may have claim to that because they're at 0-2 and they're going up against the, the Texans and the Titans and the Jaguars. But yeah. it wasn't supposed to be at the beginning of this season. I mean, the Eagles were supposed to have this epic offense. As you pointed out, Dallas with Romo and Bryant are a very good team. It's just turned the table very quickly here. All of a sudden, the Giants look like they have a shot. Yeah, and the Jets could do the Giants a favor by beating the Eagles on Sunday. Yep. Um, but the, the injuries to the Cowboys are the biggest thing. I mean, you go from Tony Romo to Brandon Whedon. That's <laughs> yeah. a pretty big fall off. Oh, Right I like how you say Whedon. Whedon. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, some players, you have to say it that way. Brandon Whedon, Kirk Cousins, you know, those kind of Kirk guys. Cousins is awful. I mean, what a start last night for the Giants yeah, just by having Kirk Cousins in the game. Worst interception percentage in the NFL amongst qualified quarterbacks. He's actually.